What if you could generate reports in minutes, not hours, just by letting artificial intelligence do the work for you? In this video, I will show you how to automate report generation with ChatGPT and Copilot. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so in order for you to generate a report using artificial intelligence, you will need three files. First, you need your data. So here, we're assuming that the data could come in an Excel format, could be coming, let's say, from a database, for example. Maybe it could possibly be live data as well. And you might need to generate a report, let's say, on a weekly basis, for example. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a very simple example. So we're going to assume that here I have two companies or two facilities I have, let's say, Real Lithium Niagara, for example, and the other one is Loop Cycle Windsor. And here I got the annual throughput of these facilities. I also got the revenues as well, operating margins. I got the process type and here the enterprise value. And what I would like to do is I would like to generate a report, let's say on a weekly basis, and that report will need to have a structure. So the second file that I would like to feed to the artificial intelligence model is, well, I need to provide it a template of what that report look like. So here I got a simple template here. Of course, you can go ahead and customize it for your own needs. So I'm going to say financial summary. You can give it a name, for example, to that company. I'm going to say total recovered materials revenue across targets. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to include placeholders for the numbers that the AI is going to extract from the other Excel sheet that I just shared with you. So basically the idea is the AI models could be ChatGPT or maybe could be Copilot as well. It's going to extract all these numbers here and it's basically gonna go ahead and plug it in into our template. So to provide the placeholder, this is just an example here. You can just put X's here in these locations and I'm going to ask the AI to come up with a report that includes here a financial summary. It's going to include valuation summary as well, operational metrics. And of course, you can see all these X's here. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to say action items colon, and I'm going to leave it blank. And the idea is that the AI model is going to read through that data. Of course, Chad GPT and Copilot, they have seen the entire internet, so they know Basically, all these numbers, they have an understanding. They also have code interpreter tool, so it can execute Python code, for example. So it's going to come up with future or action items based on the numbers that are included here in this report. But what we found is that in order for these AI models to generate robust, consistent outputs every time you run it, you will need to provide the third file and that is going to be here what we call it header description file. So the idea is for every single column that I included here in this data, we would like to explain to the AI what that column actually does. And this would be kind of the ultimate way to ground the results of the AI model in your data. So instead of the AI model going there and trying to guess what do you even mean by an annual throughput, for example, I'm going to explain the column, each of these columns here in a separate text file. So let me remind you, we need three types of data to generate reports. I need, well, first the actual data, right? The Excel sheet that includes all the numbers. I need, of course, to include a template that looks like that, along with placeholders that looks like that here. And the third file is going to be our description of every single column that we got in the data. So really all I need to do here is to write my prompt. So here is the prompt that we are going to use. And basically the prompt here is going to be as follows. I'm going to say you are an investment associate at a private equity firm. Let's call it Blackstone, for example. You are analyzing potential EV market recycling facility acquisition. And the instructions is using the input data I want you to generate an EV battery recycling facility acquisition summary. And these are the inputs. If you remember the three files that I shared with you, it's going to be our data sets, our CSV file or Excel file. 
we're gonna have our template as well and also the header description as well and finally i'm going to say the output is going to be return final acquisition report in a polished and professional tone you're probably wondering okay like why are you structuring that prompt in that manner well this i would say kind of uh, prompt engineering 101 and i included here a powerpoint slide as well that sh kind of showcases how to structure a prompt so of course you can write the prompt the way you want but this is i would say the most robust way of talking to the ai model and to generate robust consistent output every time you run it first you give it context or background you say assume that you're an expert let's say financial analyst you give it clear instructions Classify the following text as positive, neutral, or negative. You give it the actual data. So you say text, this is the input data. And then you give it what the output you want it to look like. So what we call it output indicator. For example, I say sentiment colon and I leave it blank. And this is exactly the same strategy here that I used to design that prompt. With that, let's go ahead to chat GPT and Copilot and actually try to generate report out of these. So here we go. So now I got our Microsoft Copilot and I'm going to really, all I need to do is to copy and paste that prompt that I shared with you. So I'm just gonna copy that prompt. I'm going to paste it here. And again, your investment associate and so on. And I just need to upload these three files that I just shared. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back and I'm going to get the three files and I'm going to just drop them here. So here I got the header description, I got the reporting template, and I also here got the actual data as well. If you go ahead and run it, so now Copilot's going to extract all these different uh, numbers from the Excel sheet and try to plug it here in into our template. So now Copilot is actually generating here Python code behind the scenes. And here we go, look at this. This is a report that has been generated here for you, for you. And it's gonna tell you these are the key highlights of the report, financial summary, and it was able to extract the numbers from the Excel sheet. By the way, if we haven't met yet, I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I've taught over half a million students worldwide. And if you like this video, I have created the most comprehensive agentic AI bootcamp covering all about AI agents. I cover every single cutting edge agentic framework available on the planet, including N8N, Autogen, Crew AI, and LangGraph. Check it out on Udemy today. I've included a discount link below. With that, let's go back into the video. So let's go ahead and actually do a quick sanity check as well. So for example, you will see that the um, total recovered material revenue, for example, was 185 million versus 120 million. And these are the numbers here that have been extracted here as an example. And if you keep going, you will see there are recommended actions. And these are the actions that the AI model or copilot came up with, for, for instance. Of course, you can go ahead here and you can export that data in, let's say, Microsoft Word or PDF. You also do the same deal as well with ChatGPT. So here I got ChatGPT5. I'm going to copy here the prompt and I'm going to paste here all the, the or attach the three files that I shared with you. And if you can go ahead and click run, and you can see here it was able to read our data, and here you will find ChatGPT. It's gonna do pretty much the same thing, and it's going to generate a report here for you. So this is the report. So you can see, for example, this is a, the um, target overview. These are the two facilities. These are the financial summary, for example. These are the valuation summary the operational metrics too. So it was able to extract the numbers from the Excel sheet, plug it in here, and it's giving you the strategic consideration as well. And also recommended actions. What, what I found is actually ChatGPT, specifically uh, ChatGPT5, is incredibly powerful and it generates far better reports compared to Copilot. And of course, you can go ahead and Copilot and try GPT5 as well if you want. But here, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I've got a ton of practical AI tutorials coming your way. And don't forget to join our AI community where you can grab the prompts, slides, and connect with others, building the future of AI. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.